Turn your brake before the corner. <laughs> oh. Howdy folks, Trev Berkey with GT Bikes. Today I'm here with local legend Ian Morrison. Hi, I'm we Ian Morrison. We're gonna take you on his uh, go-to lap in the Whistler Mountain Bike Park. What do you got for us today? Little Ninja Cougar. We're gonna push up to Smoke and Mirrors. We're gonna go over to Dwayne the Rock Johnson. We're gonna go into Tatiana. And it's gonna be a good time. You're gonna love it. Going into Ninja Cougar. Ninja Cougar, a great place to come in. Practice your cornering skills. You know, moving pretty quick. Nice thing about it, cornering's kind of like your gateway to riding faster. All right, those first few bumps are pretty sick. Really getting the back wheel sliding around. Whew. Setting up for these corners is pretty, pretty important. All right, so Ian, if you're riding Ninja Cougar for your first time, what do you want to look out for? Tight corners. You're going to want to make sure you're done braking before you enter the corner. Generate speed through it. Look ahead. Enjoy the ride. Did that great. So what Ian was doing there, once he was halfway through the corner and he knew he had the corner dialed, he's looking at the next corner. Yeah, oh yeah, mate, you're good to go whenever you're ready, bro. Get some Get right. Oh, mate. Yeah, we're bloody cooking with gas now, eh? Somebody's warmed up. Now, let's take a closer inspection in this left-hand corner here because this was a real nice turn. You can see, we've got some dirt displacement. We really leaned into the turn and it's caused the dirt to come up the berm a little bit. So you can see where the tyre was sliding. Great sign of Trevor just performing phenomenally. Yeah, Trevor, so what are you thinking about when you're coming into these corners down here? I like to get a little unweighted and then you like land in the corner and just like compress your bike and then try and pop out you like to drive your weight through your heels yeah. you can see you're clipped in so it's a little bit different for you eh? like I you think, i think clipped in is better on this trail because you can because there's rocks between every corner or like you know transfer your weight being being clipped in you can pull your bike up with your feet instead of like having to i haven't, I haven't ridden flat pedals for years so well let me tell you something about riding flat pedals it is very easy you just Pick your line and you just ride it. You don't move your bike, it's just there. And when you want to take your feet off, you just take your foot off. My foot comes off pretty easy. Yeah, but you gotta turn it. No, nah, think about really. it. Yeah. I run those like easy release cleats. Oh. Pedals crank tight, easy release cleats come out in different angles. <whistles> Smart. That is some knowledge right there. Not everybody has that knowledge. I didn't have that knowledge till right now. Turn your brake before the corner. <laughs> oh! Ow. Yeah, cut. Alrighty, so dropping into smoke and mirrors. Little blue tack trail, pretty playful. Good place to practice some of your line choice. Pretty fast section coming up. Oh, tight corners. Ooh. Dodge trees. Little step down here. Pop over on a beeline for a hot second here. Okay, take a sharp ride and then pedal up the hill. Rolling the lower whistler downhill for a couple seconds here. Stay left onto Dwayne Johnson. Taking this inside in goes outside. Oh. Get your tuck on. Coming into the first step of Dwayne. Woo! All right, we're standing here at Dwayne the Rock Johnson, the first step up. Probably the fastest jump on the mountain. Um, Ian, what are you doing to, in your approach to hit this jump? Hey, you, can, you know what, at this point, you can kind of either go as fast as you want off of that corner before it, off of uh, the fadeaway, or you can kind of cruise, pump some speed, a little bit of a tuck. A little bit of a kicky takeoff if you're not used to hitting jumps at super high speed. Um, be a little wary of that, but Basically just go as fast as you can. Mm. Hit it, you're good to go. Nice flat landing, so there's not like, on the back side, it's not steep or anything, so if you go too far, it's not that big of a deal. Right in, we're at Dwayne the Rock Johnson part two of the trail. Why do they call it Dw Dwayne Johnson? Well, because this is the rock, man. You can tell by the way it is. Got your first little step up there, you come around the corner at trail speed. Nice little 10 by 10, got your sweet spot in the landing down there, you can tell by the way it is, so that's great. And then you got a little step up around the corner. What's this line here? This is like you stopped and you don't want to push back up the trail. Just 
little five foot roller drop. You can't, can't roll it, you gotta drop it. You can't roll it. No, you can't roll it. No, I look from the side. Yeah, you definitely yeah. can't roll it. Yeah, don't try to roll don't it. Don't roll it. All right, so my first time hitting this trail, I'm a pretty good rider. What's easier, A-line or B-line? A-line is actually easier. If you're riding the trail, do not think going to the right is easier. Ride it to the left, roll in at trail speed or take a couple pedal strokes before the berm, carry your speed, you're going to the sweet spot every time. Yeah. If you're hitting the B-line, you want to break because otherwise you're going to go way too deep, head slap, maybe knock a few teeth out, and then you're going to the dentist and dentists take a lot of money off you. So Heaps expensive, eh? Heaps expensive. They don't want to be going to the dentist. Uh, there he goes. He even throws in a bit of a dog piss for the styles, man. This is perfect executions and a good way to model yourself after him, eh? Landed perfect, didn't break into that step up jump and then just kind of scrubbed the step up jump. It's because I wasn't going pretty far on it, but yeah, he nailed that and he looks sick doing it because he's a pro. All right, going in Devil's Club. Across the ski and he's hanging straight for Tatiana. Yeah, watch out here, there's a little drop off this rock. Whoa, damn good time, nice and steep. Still got a little dirt left on it, which is nice for a change. What kind of rider should be riding Tatiana? Uh, you're extremely comfortable riding technical double black trails, I would say. There's a lot of like kind of line choice up top, very rooty, kind of rough terrain. Uh, you got a steep rock roll at the bottom, just need to make sure you're really on top of your braking, good line choice. Don't be trying to slow down in the middle of the rock face. Roll in slow, maintain your speed for the corner at the bottom. Trail crew has done a bitchin' job. I would probably wouldn't ride this in the wet if you're not comfortable on steep technical stuff because there's a lot of roots. They get real shiny. And in the wet, they get really slippery. So uh, in the dry is primo conditions. In the wet, makes it like a triple, quadruple black. Nice. Consistent speed, straight line. Into the corner, no problem. It's that easy. Roll down, was in control the whole time. Hit it like a pro. Control your braking. All the way down, then let go, catch the berm. That's it. Tatiana done.